Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about not outgrowing. So let's get into it. So the question, question in question was, well, Frederick, why is it that some people never are outgrow the junior developer role? It's usually because the, they never t uh, progress to a to an understanding of their tools and how to like they, they never get challenged to a point where they have to learn more advanced way of doing things and they don't really pay attention uh, to their own uh, to their own career path if that makes sense I'm not saying I don't like to say that it's a career choice because it's not a career choice it's more a question of how much as I like to make the analogy to strengths uh, training for us software developers it's sort of they're staying on the lightweights because it's comfortable to be on the lightweights but they never really take on anything heavier so they don't really grow their strength and their muscles and their and so forth and in the software world it's the similar sort of thing if you are just working on fairly simple stories or fairly simple work where you're never really expanding your knowledge of the ecosystem and diversifying your skill set or anything like that then you will stay as a junior role basically forever or if you don't and as many people like they just really clock in and do the job and don't really take the time to learn how to go deep on anything or as I said expand their knowledge so basically they might be as uh, I like to call them fake seniors. Uh, I've met many fake seniors where they have the years and they claim to be seniors or like they interview for mid-level and senior roles and I go this is not a senior like you can see that in the code test they basically they they barely know how to do something that isn't exactly the thing that they've been doing for quite some time. If they have to solve a problem uh, that requires them to actually understand how their own tooling work or say how to actually do something that most likely hasn't been part of their daily job they can't because they don't actually understand the surrounding ecosystem and this is what I've said to you guys before as well guys full stack is the only state that you could be in that fully makes you able to do all the things within IT that means that all the things are connected. The reason why we do have backend and frontend is because there are certain cutoff points that are very convenient to separate people's responsibility. But that doesn't mean that there's like a really sharp cutoff point where you can always, always, always assume that, for example, a backend developer doesn't know uh, need to know anything about DevOps, for example or at the front end developer doesn't need to know anything about how to connect to an API or do anything with networking or anything like that because the reality is that these things are overlapping everything is like, it's just that we're just separating it for us as humans but the system as a whole like the entire thing is one thing the stack is just divided due to work efficiency and being able to specialize because it's that quote unquote that complicated but in the reality the do we realistically depending on the system guys you potentially need to know the entire system like all of it literally and if you do or like if you're in that sort of situation then you basically have my sort of uh, role within the companies that I work on today because uh, when you get to a certain level it doesn't have to be that way you can specialize and you can do certain things and so forth but for this more specialized roles you basically have to know DevOps back and front you need to know all of it and that takes a lot of effort and time and and so forth and so forth but for the people who stay quote-unquote juniors as with say the back-end developers like if you are a back-end developer who doesn't really know how to for example debug your own environments uh, in, say if you're running things in cloud in the cloud or so forth when then you're basically useless to any modern uh, software co uh, software company that uses say devops or similar sorts of things and this is one of the things that i tackle quite often with my uh, with software developers that i work with where you know they're really good uh, in many areas and like they can do the coding and so forth but they they can't take responsibility for the increasing resp because the guys the the responsibility the responsibility of our software developers is growing 
if you compare what the software developer or like a front-end developer for, or it doesn't matter if it's a front-end back-end, what you needed to know say five, ten years ago, that's nothing in comparison to what you need to know now. It used to be that you could go get away with knowing how to spin up a sleepy little PHP server and do some basic HTML and CSS and that was it. Today you have to basically know how to uh, work with most of the DevOps related things as well because the 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 industry's requirements on your role is ever increasing and so a junior a person who never outgrows a junior level state is as i said they might not be all that talented that can be one thing like they're not really good at the coding overall or they don't practice enough i don't know it's hard to say what makes one person better uh, than another it can be aptitude as well but the short most surefire way for you to always stay at the fairly low level is to not really understand and recognize that the range of things you need to know is greater potentially than the only thing you're doing in like your specific company and that is the difference between say that's like i work guys with people who have been working for longer than me but my like my responsibilities and the role that i have is higher because they have like we have different inclinations for what we find interesting in the development world and so when as i said you get to sort of the higher levels of um, of uh, IT, you realize very quickly that these, like the in-depth knowledge and the width of things that you might need to acquire to be effective, basically at doing like, in my case, it's say technical product management and so forth. You're not going to get that role unless you have a fairly wide level of experience. You can, for sure, just stay a software developer forever. And as I said, I've talked to some of my own coworkers who say, yeah, I just like to do the coding. And that's fine. As long as you know that just doing the coding also means that, well, that doesn't necessarily mean that you just take it easy and never learn like how to do things better or you don't learn how to use new tools so you don't keep yourself updated or anything like that. It just means that, yeah, you might not want to go into more soft areas where you have to do administrative work, like say my, myself, for example. But the people who, as I said, they, they stay juniors and they basically never, like I've interviewed quite a few of them or uh, uh, some of we call them fake seniors. They, as I said, they literally just learn the things that they need to learn in order to get their entry-level job and then they basically stay on that stack or like they don't really evolve much more than that and in that world uh, when you do that you're like honestly guys it doesn't really matter how long you work because as i've said before the years doesn't matter to a company that knows what they're looking for. You will probably still get work because as I've said as well, very few companies or like a lot of companies don't necessarily know what the senior looks like or like what experienced people look like. But for those who know, you can have many, many years of uh, experience on your CV. And that does, as I've said to some people who criticize me for this, I, yeah, you can you can want you can slice it however you want. The reality is that it if you have twenty years of experience and uh, you've been quote unquote working, you can still suck at your job. Just because you have a paycheck in one company doesn't mean that another company is going to want you. It's it's that simple. So what I want you to take away from this is that the most re most common reason I see why people don't outgrow a junior level uh, developer role is because they don't really expand their understanding of their own tools. They don't keep up with like what's going on. They don't understand that uh, their like the role that they might have in a specific company might not be a good reflection of what it means to work in another company. An example would be DevOps or responsibilities. If you work in a say a small little uh, agency or something where you might be shipping mostly static websites for example that's a very different potentially and not it very much depends on the business models but that might be a potentially very different set of skills or like the core might be the same but they might just be a subset of the skills you will need at the larger firm where they actually do devops or where you have to take responsibilities for more than that i can give you one example i'm training my front-end developers right now you know to be, know the elk stack and things like that because i basically if they're going to be on call which what the company that i'm working with right now is expecting from the team then they're going to have to learn basic devops skills that's not something that you're going to find in a 
I mean the average quote unquote senior um, front end developer doesn't know that, which I find hilarious because basically whenever you work in any of the more sophisticated IT companies, not just the one I'm in, but the others that I've worked with, you are expected to know how to debug your own pipeline. You are expected to know how to use a Node.js server, how to spin up like a Docker container, all of these sorts of things, because the backend developers are not going to sit there and do that for you. Just as the front-end developers have to, sort of, as I said, learn how to actually get their code into production, and they need to understand that there are different ways to do that. The process of shipping software is there's a range of ways of doing it. If you don't know how to do that, then you're never really going to be useful to a company that does it in a slightly different way, or if there's a slightly different tech stack, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and it doesn't really matter if you spend 20 years doing like static websites, you're never going to go above a junior level's understanding of uh, how to do things. That That is the reality, because it's not about the time that you spend, it's about what you're doing. Have a great day.